I love this church. And I love gathering here on a weekly basis. But there's a lot that's missing. A lot of individuals that's missing. Some are young, some are old. But it's been a while that we haven't seen some of you. Some of you think that gathering on Sabbath or coming to church is not worth it or could be various reasons. Maybe you lost faith. Maybe you were talked about. Maybe you had a bad situation. But I want to use this story here to just express a point. That us gathering has a purpose. And hoping that through this story, I could light a fire that would make you come back. Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. We're not going to go through all the story, but this is the story of Paul and Silas in jail. Now, you can go back to, verse, to chapter 15, read a little, about, a little bit about their story and the things that happened to them because this is really going to give you the, 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 the meat of it. But I just wanted to focus on when they're in jail. So it says in verse 25, it says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bonds were fastened. Now, I know some of you are thinking, like, what are you talking about, Ward? Are you trying to relate church to prison? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is this. The story of Paul and Silas, before this scene, Paul and Silas were arrested. I won't tell you why. I'll let you read it for yourself because it's actually, it's actually pretty cool. But they were arrested and then the people that were arresting them thought that they were silencing them by putting them in jail. But the Bible says, <laughs> the Bible says in, in the previous verse, it says, and when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, ordering the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this order, it says, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet with stocks. So basically, Paul and Silas were put together. Now, the thing is, they didn't understand that they made a mistake. They made a mistake, and the mistake, it's not really pointed out, but the mistake was, is that they fastened Paul and Silas together. If they had put Paul in this jail cell over there, and maybe they put Silas in this jail cell over there, I would say, you know what? Okay, you guys are doing something. But the thing is, they put them together. Now, what I'm talking about is that assembling at church in this place and worshiping, just as Paul and Silas were put together, Matthew 18 and verse 20 says, wherever two or three are gathered, what does the Bible say? I am in the midst. When we come together at church, that's two or three. Paul and Silas were put together. That's the mistake that they made because when Paul and Silas were put together, they prayed, as it says in verse 20, 26. It says, they prayed, sorry, in verse 25. And it says, the, the prison was shaken and all of the shackles were broken. The prayer of Paul and Silas is shown by what happened in the end. So they prayed for everybody. They didn't just pray for themselves. They prayed for everybody. But just to show that when we come together, God is in the midst. And when we come together and we are in one accord, he is willing to answer the prayers of our hearts and the desires of our hearts when we're in one accord. So as Paul and Silas gathered together, so should we gather together. So if I'm speaking to you, and it's been a long time that you've been away, it's time to come back. 
Matthew 18, 20. Where the two or three are gathered, he is there waiting to answer the call of your heart. Be blessed. Thank you.